Hey everyone, I'm Becky Stern, and today we're taking a look inside two new LED red light therapy masks, the Current Body Series 2 and the Shark Cryo Glow. Keep watching to see me try them out, take them apart, and analyze the design and manufacturing of the circuitry inside. First up, taking apart the Current Body Series 2 mask. It's flexible like the previous version, but also more contoured to the shape of the face, especially under the chin. The Series 2 also has a few more IR LEDs in another wavelength, in addition to the red and near-infrared LEDs present in both versions. I quickly learned that what worked in my teardown of the Series 1 mask was not going to work for the Series 2. The outer layer, flex PCB, and inner layer are all fused together into one solid piece. So try as I might to separate them, I didn't make very much progress at all. So I switched my focus to the controller, where I found a battery and a circuit board. Now let's take apart the Shark Cryo Glow. Its controller has a color screen, and in addition to its LEDs, it has under eye cooling pads created using Peltier coolers. If you remember when I took apart the Ember Wave, that heating and cooling wearable, you'll know it's pretty unusual to see these in battery powered devices because they use a lot of power and also generate heat. I'll admit it does feel really nice though. The front cover of the shark is held on by five screws distributed around the edge. The bottom center one at the chin is covered by a soft rubber stopper, and the others are covered by hard plastic caps that were significantly harder to remove. I used a combination of nippers to dig in and an awl to pry out. Once I removed the front shell, the inner wiring of the mask became visible. There's a circuit board in the forehead area, and everything else plugs into it. I systematically removed the components in the order they were most apparent to me. The front LED fixture, the cheek fans, the circuit board, and finally the flex PCB with all the LEDs on it. Then I removed one of the under eye coolers and the pads from the inside of the mask. There's a capacitive touch sensor in the forehead pad. No wonder this thing is so heavy. It's got more than a dozen metal screws loaded up inside. The controller has two PCBs, two batteries, and a small screen. Watch the full video to take a closer look at the electronics inside with my channel's favorite electrical engineer, David Craner.